What's happening, everybody? All right, real quick video for you guys. Yes, raining, pouring down rain when I load the car onto the trailer, and then, of course, it stops raining. But anyway, Stormy is all hooked up. Car is loaded up on the trailer. Time to go get that radiator installed. All right, guys, and we're off. So, towing with Stormy. 321 geared Ram 1500 dragging a Hellcat. Can't say that I think this is going to be too dramatic. Well, within its range of what it should be able to handle. It doesn't really feel like the truck is laboring just getting onto the road and moving. So that's a good thing. Of course, you guys know how these U-Haul trailers tow. They're awesome. So, I've got at least that working for me. But just putting around, just like what you'd expect. Easy peasy. So, kind of a quick update for you guys as I'm dragging this thing around. The car weighs about 4,200 pounds, give or take. And the trailer, I think... If I remember correctly, it's about 1,500 pounds. So uh, just the other side of, say, 55, 5,700 pounds behind this thing. And on surface streets, the only thing that I will say that I've noticed is, I mean, aside from the fact that, yeah, I mean, you can tell that you're dragging something behind you. But one of the things that I noticed is, and I've just started to notice this, with the Dodge, with the coil spring rear suspension, I'm already noticing a little bit of that characteristic Dodge kind of slight shimmy a little bit with uh, with the load back there, where a leaf spring truck would have a little bit easier time, I think, managing the weight. But again, this is just on surface streets, and I'm really trying to nitpick here. So far, so smooth. All right, guys, just pulled over to check the straps before we get on the highway. And that's what she looks like. <laughs> Squatting down a little bit in the butt. But, about to get on the highway, get underway. All right, guys, so underway on the highway, just kind of cruising, obviously towing, so we're being safe, not speeding or anything like that. There, you can't really tell that you're towing anything. I think earlier when I was mentioning that kind of slight shimmy that these Dodges get, it might have just been undulations in the road or just me being a little bit hypersensitive. These DT Rams do seem to carry load a little bit better than the DS Rams. Maybe I'm speaking a little bit out of turn with that, but it does seem to be a bit more stable. As far as would I recommend 392 gears? Well, I'm towing, what, 55, 5,700 pounds. You think you might have just heard it downshift there. Um, the truck cruising along at normal, slower highway speeds doesn't really seem to have a problem dragging the weight around whatsoever. Um, what I have noticed is that it will hunt and peck a little bit between 7th and 8th gear, but nothing that would be concerning. Like, it's nothing that would, I don't know, that you would really notice, again, unless you're just really looking for something. Uh, coincidentally, uh, 392 gear in 7th gear, just kicked into 8th right there, in 7th gear, I'm sorry, in 8th gear, is roughly the same as a 321 in 7th gear. So, if that means anything to you, and as far as fuel economy goes, uh, I mean, it's on the highway, the screen over here is showing around 20 miles per gallon. Uh, between 17 and 20 dragging this thing. I don't know if it's going to get 20 all the way there, but uh, I think it's, it's trying to hover like between that 17 and 20, a little bit of a fluctuation. Now, I will say this, if instead of towing 5,500 pounds worth of a car behind this truck, if I were pulling, say, uh, like a travel trailer, something that was tall uh, with a large uh, wind resistance, situation, I would probably say, yeah, you'd want to go with the uh, the 392 gears for that, and mainly just to help drag a trailer through the wind, but for this car, which is low, by comparison to a trailer like that, 
I don't really see there being a real need for the 392 gear, unless you decided to put bigger tires or you were purchasing a truck and you are planning to put larger tires on that vehicle. In that case, it would probably be a good idea to go with that more aggressive gear. But if you're only towing intermittently, this package is actually really good. One other thing is these U-Haul trailers are hydraulically braked, and so I'm not able to play around with my brake controller. This truck is kind of a unique package where it is a 321 geared truck, but it does have an electronic brake controller from the factory. Unfortunately, I don't get to play with that toy because, you know, the trailer doesn't have the provisions for that. So, anyway, just bringing you along for the ride. Give you an update here in just a few. Here you go, guys. Fun factoid about the truck. She is going to turn 8,000 miles while towing the Hellcat. Oh, yep, just turned 8,000. Well guys, really not a whole lot to report at this stage of the game, still on the highway. The truck's liking to hover really right around 60-ish miles an hour. Seventh gear seems to be where the truck wants to hang out. Again, if you have a 392 gear truck, that would be basically your eighth gear. The 321's like the uh, seventh gear, basically because it's the same ratio. What I will say is, it would be nice, just a little bit nice, if the 355 gear was an option for this truck. I think it would help it a little bit just in terms of getting down the road, but to be honest with you, the 321 is doing just fine. Uh, just kind of putting along down the road here. You can't really even tell the trailer's back there. Being honest with you guys, I was thinking that this truck was going to have maybe uh, not as favorable of a review in terms of pulling weight at all just with my experience with the DS Ram and how it is uh, probably the bottom of the bunch in terms of what I would consider to be load carrying capacity whether it's towing or in my main experience is just hauling weight but this thing's really good uh, right now going up a slight incline on an on-ramp I mean, the truck doesn't really feel like it's struggling at all. It's in sixth gear, just kind of burbling along. So uh, this eight-speed automatic does really well. It's not really hunting and pecking for gears. It just kind of locks into sixth or seventh. And again, not trying to speed, not trying to go fast. Does just fine. But again, it's, it's the partial throttle scenarios where you might miss having a 392 gear hills things like that you probably would like a little bit more gear than the 321 but and again that's where my only complaint or criticism or suggestion would be at least a 355 gear which is not optioned for this truck which is a real shame because it would probably be the perfect absolute best ideal gear for these ram trucks but again 321 gear doing just fine so without really much else to look forward to as far as reports i'm going to go ahead and wrap this up if you made it this far appreciate you hanging out with me considering hitting that subscribe button hit the like helps the channel a ton and with that that's a wrap hey gibson